Oh, hi everybody. Welcome back to part three. And those that have stuck with me uh, to this point, uh, welcome back. And uh, um, while I was uh, processing part two of this video, actually I kind of like gathered my thoughts together uh, and looked this material over a little bit closer. Uh, and actually I left something out um, when it, uh, uh, in regards to uh, the dates of uh, the present date, dates where we're at right now of December 21st, 2010 and then the January 4th, uh, 2011, June the 15th and December, in the upcoming December 10th of 2011. Uh, and, the, and these dates that correspond with the Jewish calendar dates um, of the 14th of Tevet, the 28th of Tevet, uh, the 14th of, of Sivan, if I pronounce these wrong, uh, please forgive me, <laughs> I know I, I'm, I'm awful when it comes to like Hebrew, um, I don't re I read Hebrew, I wish I did though, I would love to learn Hebrew, uh, but in anyway, the 14th of uh, Kislev. Uh, these uh, correspond with the Jewish months and uh, during this time uh, there are uh, listed as uh, three total lunar eclipses um, from the time of 2010 to 2011 and uh, and there was one total solar eclipse on January the 4th I wish it occurred on January 4th and if you notice what I did leave out that this was this was seen on the west coast of the United States where it was viewed okay now uh, follow me here you know keep with me here uh, remember what I said that it that it was seen on the west coast of the United States because uh, getting back to what I said about uh, what the history what had happened 390 years back uh, ago uh, in the the year uh, 1619 and 1620 there were some significant events that happened during that year also and these dates were December the 21st uh, 1619 which happened on the 14th of, of uh, Tibet excuse me if I pronounce it right and which was a partial lunar eclipse and this occurred on the east coast of the United States okay now this is very significant and I'll tell you why uh, now um, I'll go ahead and give you the other dates as well and this was January the 4th 1620 and if you notice that the above dates are very close to uh, these dates uh, the present day dates I'm sorry and uh, so it's January 4th, 1620, is the 28th uh, Tevet, which is a solar eclipse, okay? And uh, June the 15th, 1620, the 14th of uh, Savan was a lunar eclipse. And December the 9th, well, uh, 1620, uh, which will happen on the 14th of Kishlo, which is a lunar uh, eclipse. Now, if you notice that these dates, these rhythms uh, are falling on both uh, of these years in history, okay? You follow me? Now, you remember what I said that the, the 1619 19 and 1620 dates happened on the east coast of the United States, okay? Now, here's what occurred historically. Um, what happened in America and I, I was trying to gather up that what uh, historical events did happen in America at that time. As you know that the uh, first settlement in America was in Jamestown, okay? And so they had already settled Jamestown by that time in 1619. Okay, and on, on July the 30th uh, of that year, okay, follow me, the House of Burgesses of uh, Virginia formed the first elective U.S. governing body at that time. 
Okay, in the following month, August the 1st, the first black Americans landed at uh, Jamestown, Virginia. Okay. And on August the 20th, the first black slaves bought by the Dutch to a colony in uh, Jamestown, Virginia. Okay, and uh, they also have down here on December uh, the 4th, uh, this was America's first Thanksgiving Day in Virginia at that time. And, uh, and then at, and, uh, at the same time, 38 uh, colonists from the Berkeley Parish in England dis uh, disembarked in Virginia and gives thanks to God and this considered by many as the first Thanksgiving in the Americas and uh, for uh, the year 1620 uh, the uh, uh, well if you know your American history you all know what happened uh, in the year 1620 uh, and this is when the pilgrims uh, got on the Mayflower and sailed from uh, Plymouth, England to what they call now uh, Plymouth, Massachusetts. Uh, and they began in August of that year of 1620. So you following me now uh, that uh, all these uh, events that were happening, occurring in America uh, on the East Coast okay on the east coast of the United States so that is significant God is trying to tell us that these days are significant uh, to uh, the prophecies of, of what is happening so you don't think that America is a part of prophecy well if these dates and these occurrences don't convince you uh, I don't know what will uh, but I'll leave a, a link and you can look over these dates of what ha had occurred because from the, the dates uh, in August of 1620 all the way to December the 26th uh, of that year um, that it tells too that the Mayflower had reached Cape Cod and they explored the coast along that, that way and, and this was during the time when the Mayflower uh, Compact was signed by the Pilgrims in Cape Cod. And that was on November the 21st of 1620. Okay, well let me get back uh, to uh, finish this article. Uh, so now you, you, you stay with me, keep me with me now. Um, so what, now this is where it gets interesting. Um, we uh, it says we are not going to have any total lunar eclipse or blood moons uh, in December of 2011 being the final not until the 15th of April 2014 which ironically is the Passover for the Jewish people and for Christians too um, along uh, here uh, that we find that in 2014 and 2015 there are four total lunar eclipse four blood moons that appear in a row and this is known as the tetrad uh, that accompanied by that are accompanied by two solar eclipses and they all fall on Jewish feasts okay follow me now it is extremely rare that four blood moons appear in a row and in its forecast that with this kind of event will never happen again in this century it won't ever happen again and as I had mentioned before that in the 1967-1968 that year that Jerusalem was uh, miraculously recaptured by Israel and back in 1949 and 1950 a year after Israel declares its independence and when, uh, we take note here that this event took place the 14th of May 1948 and the Arab-Israeli war broke out uh, right the next day lasting until the 7th of January 1949. 
Um, it says uh, not only that this 1949-1950 uh actually fell either on the Passover or the Feast of Tabernacles. Uh, only back in the 1500s there were like six tetrads occurring uh, and none of them ever fell on the Jewish feasts. Okay, uh, so and and then it goes into uh, listing the uh, the blood moons that will occur on these feast days and uh, 2014 the 15th of April there will be a blood moon on um, a Passover and there will be a total lunar eclipse okay on on the 8th of October there will be a blood moon on the Feast of Tabernacles okay total lunar eclipse on uh, and then in the year 2015 on the 20th of March there will be a total solar eclipse okay and that will be the Jewish New Year on the 4th of April there will be a total blood moon eclipse on Passover on the 13th of September there will be a solar eclipse and this will be the Feast of Trumpets or Rosh Hashanah which is the Jewish New Year and on the 28th of September there will be a total uh, final, final total eclipse of blood moon on the Feast of Tabernacles okay and that's your rare occurrence there's uh, your four blood moons right there uh, so what does all this mean uh, I believe that this is what this will signify that the the Lord will return sometime around this time uh, around uh, somewhere around the Feast uh, of Trumpets and the Feast of Tabernacles um, because this will be the final uh, occurrence of the, the blood moon but remember what Jesus said that uh, we won't know the sign of his coming but we are to watch for uh, signs of, of his coming and uh, those signs that will uh, be in his in his feast and in his feast days um, they uh, because uh, there was also events that ha happened uh, in in times past in history and in regards to solar eclipse and um, and it also goes on to say about uh, in the, during the month of Tammuz uh, during the time of the solar eclipse and um, that sounds kind of familiar done about Tammuz and that's the month of July on the uh, Jewish calendar uh, but I'm almost running out of time but uh, I just thought maybe that this would be some food for thought and uh, regards to uh, what is occurring uh, in the heavens right now and um, the uh, time uh, that is uh, coming close to the return of our Lord Jesus Christ uh, I'll leave a link to this so you all can study this in its entirety and I'll, I'll provide links and um, hopefully that you got something out of this and I hope you enjoyed this and I certainly did so uh, I'll end it here and tell you all uh, God bless you uh, Jesus loves you and y'all have a uh, wonderful week and uh, stay safe and uh, y'all take care until next time uh, bye bye now